Welcome back. This is Kotel. Back a little bit early. Uh, vacation cut about a day short, so that does mean I get to catch a UEC. This is server two. Um, it is a Cook's counter charge on this Saturday. 153 is the server count. Currently 79 on the attacking CSA and 78, 75 on the Union. Let's take a look at that Union team. We have the third Alabama, the 56 Virginia. The 4th New Jersey, and the 2 USC, I believe that's it. Let's see, for officers here, oh, we also have two corps as well, under Lieutenant Muffin. It looks like we got Eddie leading 2 USC, we've got Slaughter leading the 56, and I don't know who's leading the 3rd Alabama, it might be Memento Mori. It might be Williamson. Smart All looking right. unit right there. We'll see. Looks like they also have some already Jeff Davis batteries trying to get their cannon back. Let's take a look at the CSA team that's attacking. They have the SB. They have the Alabama German Legion, AGL. We've got the 52nd New York. And the 4th Georgia, along with SR. Let's see, for commanding them, we've got Empling leading 52nd. So you got GCB leading the AGL. We've got Lieutenant Clarkey from Fort Georgia. I don't think I've seen him lead yet. And we've got Venom leading the SB. Check back and see if see who's in command of 3rd Alabama. Showing off yet. Let's see. Slaughter, Eddie. Oh, interesting. Okay. What's going on there, but... And, of course, did I mention 4th New Jersey? I think I did. Uh, now, this game is called War of Rights. It is currently on sale now on Steam for only 20 U.S. dollars. Um, this is a first-person shooter set in the Civil War, specifically the anti well, the uh, Maryland campaign. Specifically, this map pack is Antietam. Um, I want to say I want to highly recommend the game, but that's not true. Um, I recommend the game in certain aspects. Be careful of pub servers, specifically... The War of Rights official test server, it is frankly a rat's nest of racists, and the uh, devs have enabled it and refused to do anything about it. But, with that disclaimer in there, uh, most other public events you'll be fine, and uh, private events that police themselves, like the UEC, you'll have no problem with. Uh, if you care about that kind of thing, if it's your t cup of tea, then hey, more power to you. Uh, but this event is the United European Community. It happens every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT. There is a link in the description uh, if you want to get your unit assigned to or apply to join the event. If you're a new player or veteran player looking for a unit, um, there's plenty of units on the field. Um, there's links in the description to all of them. So if you're looking to sign up, um, go ahead and follow that Discord link, see what time they play, and uh, sign up. And last but not least, uh, if you enjoy the channel, um, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff uh, for more of these videos. And that normal YouTube grip. We are live at 40, so we'll see how the Union tries to do this. Folks, countercharge population went up to 166, and I believe we have the mule, the mule, leading the uh, from 18 North Carolina with the eye in the sky for the admin. Let's see if he's. Yep, there he is. There he is. Yep, we are live. Let's see what they do. They've gotten the cannon back, um, but they might have trouble getting the... Uh, actually getting the uh, caisson back. We'll see. So Union adopting a forward defensive position here. Looks like we've got one unit moving up now. Well, two units moving up. We've got both the uh, 4th New Jersey 2 Corps element here along with the 2nd USC here. Meanwhile, the CSA so far split up. Looks like they've got the bulk three units heading to the right with one unit heading to the center here. 4th Georgia being the one heading into the center. See, then we can see the Union line kind of half on this position here along this fence, and the rest are positioned up on that hill, giving some distant shots here as the CSA starts making their way. Now, a quick overview of the map. 
We have a CSA spawn over here. Uh, Union artillery. Which is forward, which is why they're trying to bring the cannon back. Then you got the point of contention and the Union spawn back there. Indeed, Ameisenhofen. Dem Korn. Feuer! So the Union has not has opted to pull the arty back to this position on the hill and not further back. So that is an interesting decision here. Sometimes I've seen them pull it further back, but they might figure they can't get it into uh, into that location that soon. And the CSA has opted to put everything into the corn with the Union, as you can see, starting to move to intercept, including a wide flanking maneuver here by the Home Guard here. To USC. Check the cannon, take case on any cover. Face in the corn. Face into the corn, boys. Get through, get through. Yep. Here we got the initial charge. Of course, George are coming in. Hitting the two core combined element, but they've been back pretty quickly here. But third Alabama, so Williamson is in command, was what was uh, ready for them. That's uh, enemy in the corn south, you just got pushed back 100 meters away. Enemy in that corner. Yeah, right there. We see that we will engage them here. Gotove! Felsa! Там где флаг маячит. Види ниже. Огонь! Oh, about that target selection there. I think they uh, may be a little bit further out here. Got the 52nd New York under Empling over here. So far, it looks like the CSA is happy to do some uh, mass shooting. Ah, I after the next get on the cannon. So far, this is working very well for the Union here. Let's see if the CSA is looking at doing any other moves. We do have some of the unit over here. Who is this? George is getting some men back in. You got a flank maneuver here by the two USC, Mr. Eddie and his calf. Trying to get some flanking fire in. Zoom out so you can kind of see the box they put the CSA in here using the anchor of the 3rd Alabama. Oh, they did infiltrate one unit all the way back here. I didn't catch this. This is a good move here by the SB. Usually the anchor of the Union, but they're playing CSA right now. They have occupied this far position here. It's a big move here by Venom. He's going to try to get moved up here in a better position to engage this unit over here. Independent, right oblique. Fucking ball aim for their heads. He's fallen on the left side of the line. They have pushed forward this unit here, the 56. They're gonna try to reposition here, but as you can see, uh, the Union has now, since they lost that flank, they're kind of getting pushed a little bit over here into a little bit of a crescent now. That SB threat is going to be significant, especially if they can knock off the 56 and cut off the SB and the 2 USC, but we shall see. This is a bit of an end of set. Fall back to the Just over the burn. Just over the burn to reload. Getting very low casualties so far, which is very much in the favor of the Union team. Don't stare at your gun. Come on. Enemy line south, south, west. South, south, west, thank you. It's like Venom is on the move. 
Check. Right. Check. One more, one more, and they're moving. Up to my right. Up to my right. Really, right now, I think the ball is in the uh, Venom's court right now. It's going to be up to him to kind of undo this defense. It's going to be very hard for the CSA to punch through the yeah, third Alabama down there, especially with two USC doing some support. See if the combined two core, fourth New Jersey, and the 56 can hold back Venom. Take aim in those bushes. In those bushes, right there. They're going to be hopping out. Take aim. Aim low, man. Aim low. Steady. Fire. Nice. Break reloads. Fall yeah, back a couple good shots reloads. there. On the sprint. On the sprint. Right. You can see here how effective the 3rd Alabama and the 2 USC have been. They've actually shot off a whole CSA regiment, and they left their flag back here. So really good maneuvering going on over here by the Union. We'll see what 52nd and AGL can do. Try to get some momentum here. I believe that's Fort George's flag now that I'm looking at it. It's AGL, Juicy B. Now, as the name suggests, the AGL, 8th Alabama, is a German unit here in the War of Rights community, been a long member of the UEC, a uh, very steady unit. Um, about mid-size, mid to higher size. Um, but yeah, that definitely one of the uh, mainstays here of the United European community. Some keep it going. Oh, we got a maneuver down here by the 56 Virginia. It's Captain Slaughter. Another mainstay of the United European community. Get about another mid sized unit. Um, Slaughter is one of the more maneuvery guys within the UEC. He does like uh, putting his men into different positions, trying to find an angle. But it looks like. The SB here is looking to try to catch him, and he might here. A couple good shots there by the SB, the anchor unit. They've kind of disengaged from this side. Um, I'm not sure about this maneuver, though, to be honest with you. I think they were more of a threat over there than over here. Over here, I think the problem is they're going to take a lot of fire here from the uh, potentially that cannon and especially from the 3rd Alabama. The cannon shot was a little, little bit too far. SB so far is holding strong. So you can see 3rd Alabama is putting a lot of heat into him, along with these other units here. They're taking a lot of concentrated fire. I don't think this is sustainable for them. You've got one cannon and two units firing at you, and one of them is 3rd Alabama. Yeah, it's time to get out of there. See how deadly that concentrated fire was from that Union position here. They are, we're below 30 minutes. The Union's still battle ready on this map. You see how much damage they've done. Now, the danger, I will say, is, you know, with the flag here with four men, they can respawn very quickly if they so choose. If they don't spawn main, I'm not, I'm trying to keep an eye and see if I spawn main. So you might need to detach a unit here to try to prevent them from be consolidating very quickly, and it bells, looks like bells, bells, Muffin bells, might be trying bayonets, to do that. See what two core can do over here. Hold to your right face. On the right. Yep. Come up here. Get a line. Get a line to my right. Southeast. To the right. To the Take right. Take aim. To the Steady. Fire. Reload behind the hay. Reload behind the yeah, hay. See, now this I disagree with. You need to fire, and in fact, I get a little bit closer. Get the flag up. And then hit them. Um, try to knock down that flag. Oh, this is 
56 is coming over here as well. That may thin out this position. Two USC's maneuvering off as well. Oh, man, I'm not sure about all this. Third Alabama is being the, kind of the anchor here. Good shots by the AGL on the two USC as they were running away. Nice, nicely done. Kind of zoom out here and we'll see where... Okay, this is, yep, this is what I wanted to see here. Now they, they can't push it too far. So that was a good attempt by 56. They got to pull back now. They didn't quite catch the flag. And you got 52nd here, can now cover the retreat. In a good cover position here by Ampling. Has preserved the SB's flag and let them get it. You don't want SB to lose their flag back in enemy territory. That would have been a very bad thing. So great job there. So now we do have 4th Georgia, along with SR coming over here, messing around with 2 USC. Get a lot of fun comments there from uh, Mr. Lemuel. Lemuel. Was it Mr. Walsh? Uh, is, who is do, who's doing it right now? Mr. Todd, I think, is doing it. Company, take aim. Any regiments to the south? Let's have that be over shortly. Bar. To be honest, if they took down the flag. To be honest, if the friendlies take care of uh, protecting the cannons instead, that might be better than coming to the right. So we yeah, got a I... movement up here. Who is this coming up? Here comes Venom. He's going to try to get close to the SB. If he can catch him as they're turned around, this might be deadly here. Fire in charge. Let's go. Finish him off. Oh, it's going to be normal. It looks like, oh man, that was a good, just not timed quite enough here. And that element got hit, although that has covered. The 52nd is going to try to get behind the Union line here. But that charge by SP was easily turned aside by this combined 3rd Alabama, 4th New Jersey, 56 VA. We're doing an excellent job of mutually supporting each other right now. Yeah, the problem might be 52nd on those hay bales. That might become a problem very soon for the Union. Company, take care. Many regiments south. Focus on that lone man. It's their officer. Shouldn't we wait for them to Focus on the lone man in the south. And I'd rather take the opposite one. It's still seven fours and it's five. Why is there a flag holding back as bomb? Is that the Fort George? Oh, they're coming. Yeah, they come. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, fuck. Drück him rein. Oh. Oh, man. I know what I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. I have on. Damn it. Looks so like 52nd is getting charged out, but Empling is going to try to get out of there. We'll see if he can manage it. We're at 24 minutes. Union is still at battle ready. They're starting to fall a little bit behind on tickets, but this is going wonderfully for the Union team right now. Looks like Empling was able to get out of there, so good job, good awareness by him not to get caught out. Let's check on the 4th Georgia here, dueling with the 2 USC. Right, back down, boys. Back down, back down. Union has now hit engaged at the 24 minute mark. This is going wonderfully for them. TSA really needs to pick up a tempo here if they have any hope of winning. Now, Tukor is going to try to do a flank maneuver out here. This is a little dangerous. On my left, on my left. There you go. East, into the corn, 75 meters away. Independent fire from the caissons. Use cover. East. Get that flag up. Get that flag up. Get that flag up. Got it, I'm down. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Get 
guess two USC does have a very nice skirmish line. Thanks, Sandvik. Good idea to shoot at them. Otherwise, they get we'll confident and they start getting towards us, and then they start losing tickets more faster. So you see, now engaged. Now the big trouble right now is four Georgias down there, and they can move up and maybe hit two USC or two core and knock out a flag that might give them some good advantage. And it looks like Empling is going to try another maneuver out to the hay bale. Let me go take a look. See if that's him or if that's SB. That might be SB. Oh, this is Venom moving up. He is doing a very controlled movement. Why is he doing this controlled movement? Because he wants to time it very specifically to have his men all online, all set up before he peaks his hill. <laughs> yeah, 56, you can see that, got the worst of that engagement. There's a very careful maneuvering there by Venom. We might talk, I might, you know, even I'll talk crap once in a while about uh, quick timing here. But in this case, both the 3rd Alabama and SB show you where the quick time is, you know, valid. Right dress, gentlemen, right dress. Diet. We have one enemy unit, I think, at the Ordi. It'd be very tough for SB to hold this, though, with two units here. Um, we'll see if the 52nd can move up behind and might be able to tear off some of the 56. But if SB's going to fight both of these units here, they're not going to be able to stand for very long. And in fact, even with that, I don't think they can stand up to... Yep, there's a third unit here. Here comes the uh, two USC. And with that addition of the two USC by a nice maneuver by Eddie, the SB has melted. And they may be the anchor, but even the anchor can go down at times. Oh, they're all in disarray. It's gone. We're good. We're good. You making them better. We might get some tickets. Right face. Double. Right face. Right face. Double quick. There was push up, push up. Go with them. Oh, los kids, los kids, los kids. Fire well, the bed fire, the bed fire, the bed fire. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we it's a nice flank and fire caught by Tukor there. You can see the Union's really concentrating their fire here. I think a lot better than the CSA is. And it is really tearing apart these CSA units here. And they are having a lot of trouble dealing with this concentrated fire and mutually supporting actions here by the Union team. Now, even with all that, the Union is behind on tickets. Now, you can see how hard it is to win this map. Oh, don't tell them that. Finally. Bisschen zurückbleiben, Sir. We're getting volley from the left. Bisschen weiter zurück. Fallback, Ost, Fallback, Fallback, Südost, Fallback. CSA is kind of breaking down here. Let's check and see what 52nd. I don't think they're doing quite enough to restrain the Union over here. It's not a bad position, but again, the Union's concentrating their fire one at a time here. And you can see the effects they're having. 19 minutes, even a little bit more than halfway down through engaged. So they got to be careful. But they are on pace here for a nice win. We'll see if they can manage it. See, Slaughter's going to bring the 56 out here. Alabama, садись. Не знаю. Все, садись быстро. Все. 
Они разрядились. Я не знаю. 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 And we can see how much damage is doing to this Union line here. This is a... Yeah, it was a little bit too late, I'll be honest with you. you need to get those guys down. That's, you lost a lot of guys up there. Now 17.45. I mean, a lot closer to taking losses, but we have a flank maneuver here. By Slaughter. Here he comes to try to charge out the AGL, but AGL looks like they're ready for them. I think this might be another critical mistake here by by the Union here. I think this is going to cost them a lot of tickets that they cannot afford to lose. So, AGL holds that charge by the 56 here. And now that's going to change the balance here. You can see 3rd of Alabama has been hit pretty damn hard, and now 2 corps has been moved off. Now, at 17 minutes, the CSA, by concentrating their fire... And by, I think, a couple mistakes by the Union, has been able to mostly seize this hill if they push up on it. You don't want to let the uh, Third Alabama move up, but we'll see. There's not much left down there. Reload. Keep killed. Camping down. Check, check. Dudley, take aim. Round that smoke. See that flag. Steady. Fire. Lieutenant Fork's going to try to move his gun back, but he is very vulnerable here. As soon as somebody realizes that he is going to get smacked. It's like USC is making a maneuver. They make, yep, there we are. Hold the case, halt it, halt it. Independent fire. Independent fire, not best. Gross Einheit, not best. Independent fire. That's it, please. It's 10 tickets right there. There we go. Taking losses. Andy Kanona, Andy for the Kanona. Union. Kanona, Andy Kanona Andy for <laughs> Union starting to kind of lose the advantage they had a little bit here. And this is starting to move more to the favor of the CSA. Now they're well ahead on tickets. And the time is now much better for them. I think the Union got a little bit too out of sync there. CSA got a little bit better concentrating, and they uh, you can see how that much that turned the tide. Go top of that hill and reform. How going? Going. That is a... Is that up? See, right now there's nothing securing the Union flank over here. This is a this is gonna be a big problem. I mean, I don't blame. Eh, I don't know who you would send. Uh, I don't know about two core going over here. To be honest with you, maybe use them as a flank guard. But yeah, now the CSA has all the time in the world to move up here. Nice volley there. Right press. Right press. And they have capped. Oh, oh, to the die. Uh, would I have capped? Um, hey, we can, we can kind of use, we can use a little bit of death blade on the left of things. I don't know. I think I might have held off a little bit longer. Maybe, maybe giving a couple. Lads, about safe. Come back here to reload. Break reloads. Break reloads. Come back here. Break reloads. Tried to get him onto uh, breaking. Die von denen auch? 
Ja, wie sieht's denn hinten aus? Ich hole mal mein Fernglas raus. Ich sehe von hier nichts. Gehen wir das hin. Jetzt dürfen wir den scheiß Punkt ah! verlieren. War das Lucy? Lucy, bist du noch da? Nee, nee, nee. Beo, du hast. Beo? Wide open. Northwest. So right now, frankly, these Union elements out here need to start moving back to the center and figuring out and coordinating how they're going to retake this point. If they stay out here chasing Empling, that is the wrong decision. Unless that's going to support you taking the point back. But um, that's what you really need to think about. Who's coming up here? Independent fire. Get Two cores gonna right come here. up here. At that flag. Let's go. Keep going. I don't Get know if they've fire. got enough mass to beat them. We'll see. East. Make them fall back east. Oh, they are falling back Keep shooting, though. Man. Keep shooting. Space out. Space out on the caissons. And the cannons. Let's go. Push them back. Push them back. Nicely done. Alright, Two core did succeed in retaking those uh that position. Oh, we got a major push here. Who is this? Two USC. Oh, I think Eddie. Oh. Pull back. Pull yeah. Back. It's a little bit too much of a hornet's nest. But if, uh, I mean, it could be that Eddie and Muffin are trying to drag them off here and letting the Union, the main elements here, like 3rd Alabama, kind of come up and cap. That might be what they're doing. And as you can see, those guys are chasing off those elements there. That might allow the Union to sneak up here and cap. The key is to, you know, keep them engaged, which is tricky. You got to keep them engaged, but not get wiped. You got to fix them in position. But yeah, the CSA is not biting. You see, they're coming back here and they're concentrating their fire. See, the CSA is letting them recap here, which is going to be a, a problem, because they're going to get a lot of tickets back here if they let them recap like this. Um... Now the CSA's moving, but I th oh, there we go. It's just in just in time. That must be the SB right there. It's going. Oh, it was the AGL. Oh, my, my bad. With a great volley by the AGL and the Fort Georgia into the SB into the uh, Third Alabama. Great job by them. Now here comes a Union charge, but this could be a big mistake here. I think this is 56. They don't have the mass to win this fight. Even though it was a pretty well organized one, they just don't have the mass. And they're going to get wiped out here. I said Slaughter likes to do these maneuvers that oftentimes they work out. This time, it, well, the dice just wasn't with them. Oh, there's another charge here by Tukor. But again, not with enough mass. Um, and this is really going to set the Union back here. Here comes Eddie coming up here, but now... The Union is in very in a lot of danger of getting um, defeated in detail here. Eddie's going to try to get out of there, but he, he got he got smarted up there as well. And the CSA just have to hold another two minutes, and they've won. So despite excellent play by the Union, I think the CSA has now kind of figured out what they needed to do to mass up and mutually support each other. And now the Union's a little bit fragmented, and they you can see they're coming up now. Unit that coordinates and kind of works together in tandem. You know, that's who wins. If you're all the way across the field and you can't coordinate your movements, you see what happens. Especially if you mash your fire, as the CSA is now doing and as before the Union was. But um, looks like AGL is going to try to deal with 2 USC. Um, actually, I, I absolutely support this. They are going to try to cut off two USC and knock out Eddie, who is, a, I would say, a very big danger to leave in the rear echelon area. So they can knock out Eddie here before the Union can mass up at Maine. 
that would be very beneficial to them. Don't charge. Kill him, kill him. Oh, lads, hold on. Hold and shoot, boys. Hold and shoot, hold and shoot, boys. And drop that flag. Eddie's gonna try to get out of there. We'll see if we can do it. Come on, Keep boys, come on. Keep doing what he wants to do. We're Keep back. Keep following me. We're the best baiters here. The problem is they didn't get the flag out here. Let's see if Moomoo can do it. It's all on Moomoo. Can he do it? Level two. Oh, you shot Moomoo. Bastards. Bastards. All right, let's see. Looks like we got another fight going on here. Venom is tangling here with third Alabama, but he's a little bit isolated, man. Oh, perfect. Beautiful, beautiful fire and charge there by the AGO. But there's a lot of CSA with them. Fort Georgia going in as well. They can hold it. Three seconds. This should be it. That's it. CSA really turned it around there in that second half of that game, and I think this slowdown is stupid as all hell. But, you know, whatever. Great, great, great match, though. Freaking loved it. Great UEC. Um, that I was able to catch this Saturday. Got one more to go for this UEC. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed again. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't. Uh, you know, all that fun stuff helped me figure out how to improve the coverage. I do really recommend the UEC. They do a great job of actually keeping this game clean and actually having really enjoyable matches. So I, I really recommend this event. I recommend all the events I cover, but the UEC is, is the first one I covered. And, and, you know, show how the game can really shine. One more to go, though. We'll see if the next one's just as good.